If you are of a certain age, you may remember a time when peanut butter and jelly sandwiches were a brown bag lunch staple that kids brought to school, and birthdays were celebrated with cupcakes. Not anymore. Now, peanut-free lunch tables are the norm, and birthday treats are non-food items in many schools. According to Food Allergy Research and Education, researchers estimate that up to 15 million Americans have food allergies. Food allergies affect one in every 13 children under 18 years of age. That's roughly two in every classroom. We all probably know someone who avoids certain foods for one reason or another, be it gluten intolerance or a full-blown shellfish allergy. But what exactly is a food allergy? Unlike a gluten intolerance, a food allergy is classically defined as a type 1 IgE-mediated food hypersensitivity. Try saying that three times in a row. In simpler terms, a food allergy occurs when the immune system mistakes a protein in food as harmful and creates antibodies to fight it. But let's get specific. According to the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, if you have a food allergy, your immune system makes a type of antibody called immunoglobulin E, or IgE. This class of antibody binds to immune cells called mast cells that circulate throughout your body. When you eat an allergen, the protein attaches to the IgE antibody, signifying to the immune cells that they need to release certain chemicals that cause allergy symptoms. Because mast cells and basophils rapidly release these chemicals, reactions typically occur within 30 minutes to a few hours of consuming or exposure to the allergenic food. Allergy symptoms can range from mild to severe and include rashes or hives, nausea, stomach pain, diarrhea, itchy skin, shortness of breath, or anaphylaxis, which is a life-threatening symptom that can result in blood pressure drop, trouble breathing, dizziness, and even death. Anaphylaxis is by far the most severe symptom, and avoiding the allergenic food completely is the only way to truly avoid experiencing anaphylaxis. But the drug epinephrine can quickly counteract a negative reaction. A mere eight foods account for 90% of all food allergic reactions. Milk, egg, peanut, tree nuts, fish, shellfish, soy, and wheat. While many people will eventually grow out of allergies to milk, eggs, wheat, or soy, allergies to peanuts, fish, tree nuts, and shellfish tend to be longer lasting and impose severe symptoms. Notice a pattern? All of these foods have high protein content, thus increasing the potential for a negative immune reaction. While there is no clear reason for the nearly 50% increase in food allergies in children in the last two decades, Researchers from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln's Food Allergy Research and Resource Program shared some potential theories with IFT Food Facts. One examines how increases in cesarean births are causing more children to be born with sterile gastrointestinal tracts. Another theory examines the correlation between allergy increases and advice given to parents to limit exposure to peanuts at an early age. While another, the hygiene hypothesis, proposes that humans have become too clean and our immune systems have become more sensitive. While researchers continue to work towards eradicating allergies, we think the best place to start in diagnosing a potential food allergy is your doctor's office.